Tommy Carping. Real fishing for real people. Oh yeah, welcome to the vid. On this nice sunny day, I just finished testing the wild one baits, king crab, local brum company. I've used them loads of times before. Been on some social zone and that. But yeah man, we're gonna do review on the king crab flavour. We might do the hot dog eventually as well. Yes, we'll start with P, price. Um, it's our first five star. It's eight ninety nine a kilo. This is the cheapest bait I've ever reviewed. So yeah, five star on the price. Longevity. Do our little time walk to the tank. I'll show you all the longevity tests. Right, eight hour longevity test and yeah. They're all still sat there, all good, look. 12 hour longevity test. Still looking good, look. Waft is still off the deck. Pop up still up. The two boilers are sitting right. 20 hour longevity test. Longevity, as you've seen, they're exactly the same now as when I put them in the tank 24 hours ago. Well, just over 24 hours ago now because I've been recording this. But yeah, five star on the longevity. Availability. This is a tricky one for this one because you order through Facebook and that, and the deliveries get sorted and either posted to you. But there is a shop in Owls Owen if you're local, and then there are on a couple of tackle shops online, Tackle Den, Angler's Hut. And you just supply some fisheries as well. So yeah, man. So I'd say... So I don't know where to write it, because it falls between two categories, doesn't it? So we'll go bang in the middle, and we'll go with a three star. Variety. I'm just getting up my list. I should have missed out the camera running, but I'm, I might cut this bit out. But yeah, man. A list of things they do for each flavour products, boilies, wafters, glug, goo, pop ups, bottom bait dumbbells, pellets, pellet spray, ground bait, and paste. And that's in every flavour because they do more flavours. I'll probably test the hot dog at some point as well. Yeah, so variety, it's more than five, so five star. And then Attraction. We'll do our little time walk now, a little time lapse of the tests, and then come back and we'll talk about the results. I our attraction test, and as you can see, the water's gone like got a red tinge to it now. But yeah. Yeah, that is testing it. Yeah. Still smelling and looking good, but the water's definitely gone a bit red. Look, 12 hour attraction test. Yeah, oh, defo still smells of crab.
Ugh. Oh yeah. Ugh. Defo. Still got the smell and the taste. Some water. Right, the 16 hour longevity test. You can see, waft up is still. Wafting, look, I've just put the air up a bit to make it a bit more noticeable. Look, pop up still up, and the boilies are still doing their thing. All right, attraction test. Yeah. Oh man. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Still some flavour. Oh man, that's sixteen hour. Yeah, man. Still looking good. Twenty-four hour attraction test. Ooh, still wafting up. Still set up off the deck. Mad that is, look. No. Do a lot more flavours come to the edge, not. Do you know? It tastes. Oh, it's got more taste back again. The boil has. And the pop up. Yeah, the smell. It's like the crib or the squid, man. Just, well, lingers. But, like, not overly strong after 24. Same as I was. This, It's there, but it just lingers. It just stays at the same. It's good, man. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Seen all the tests. And it's similar. Why the flavour is to the Scopex squid. Like obviously when you smell it before you put it in the water and that it's overpowering. But after 24 hours, like the Scopex, it tastes there. But it's not like persistent, it's not overpowering. Like, but it's still there, it still lingers. God, I'd taste it in my mouth, still no same as the Scopex. And I can't, oh well. Bought this year, it's in the scope back squid one. I love it. So, yeah, on attraction, I've got to give it a five star. But it differs to the squid because the pop up didn't lose its flavour. So, I don't know what's different about it. So, on the squid, the pop up went after 16 hours, didn't it? But on the crab, it ain't nor the wafter, to be fair still tasting pretty much the same but yeah man final results 
to Yemma. Overall results, price, our first ever five star. Literally cheap as chips. That's the price I'd hope to be paying for back. Know what I mean? Longevity, five star. Availability, three star. Variety, five star. I literally do everything. And attraction, five star. Which puts it at a 23 out of 25. Which, to be fair, the four star, but it's just about scraped the best one yet. Like, the price is class. You know what I mean? Although it's not as available. If you're a bit more, if you plan ahead a bit more and order in advance and get it there, then, yeah, you're laughing, I suppose. It's worth the price drop for the availability to order a bit in time. And a lot of people saying, here, buys one kilo anyway, on the comments and that, so just putting it out there. But yeah, I'll be using it. I've got to, I'm going to use all this stuff I've got in here first. Get it on the back, can't wait. Another vlog for you. But yeah, man. Drop us a subscription. Follow me, Tommy Carpin, on Instagram. And we've got a little test coming up that I'm going to do with Glugs as well. See how long they're lasting, if they had any attraction value. But yeah, man. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.